Hey guys, so uh, I had uh, just finished my lunch. Um, I've just checked the mill and it's nice and cool again. It's cooled down. It's had about an hour to cool down. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I've got three of these left. I think I'm actually going to um, push the mill a little bit further than I would normally do. Um, and actually try and get all of the last three pieces done uh, will be me filing all these down and finishing them all off so they've all got a lovely curve, they're all nice and shiny uh, I am going to um, use some uh, once these all to, to the form I want I am going to use some um, sanding paper and scratch all the surfaces because I'm actually going to spray paint the entire thing black uh, so it's going to be a lot like the other one I'm actually going to weather and then resand the edges so that it's all a little bit more cool on this one so it'd be really nice and really sith and awesome um so uh yeah this either will be a two-part uh build or it's going to be a uh, a three-part build we'll find out i don't know yet it depends how long these things take but this is taking a long time just to get through these so yeah i mean to get those two done was about an hour and a half, something like that, maybe two hours. Let's let's get to it, guys. Shall we? Right, so 
all these are done. Uh, now, this is the interesting thing. I want to make this curve beautiful. And I've got these three belt sanders. Now, the problem is, the well, there's two problems. Uh, the first one is, um, let me see, uh, this belt sander, uh, for some reason, has just died. Which is weird, because it's one I use most probably the like, lightest, well no, it's the second heavy, second most used one. Um, the, the big one that takes off a lot of material uh, with a uh, low grip, does the most work. Uh, that just polishes the sides with uh, a much smoother belt. So that's dyed, which is a bit of a, you know. but, but, because it's me, I've got my main one, which is just all the hard work, the one that's just dyed, and a backup. Always have a backup. And I'm not joking, if, you, if, if you're doing this as a, a job, and um, providing lightsabers as a product, if you have a tool um, that you rely on heavily and it goes, it makes everything a lot harder, which is why I've got a spare. Now, the next problem is, apart from the fact that, apart from the fact that this little guy died, it has this on. And I want, I don't know if you can see this, but I really want to get there to do this curve. Because I bet that curve is almost identical. It's very close. So, because I've got to take this off, I'm going to have a quick look and see if I can take this off, or at least take this metal bit off here. No, I don't think I can. It's tack welded in place. Ah, oh, okay. Oh well. It was a thought. I've just seen that it's tack welded in place, so. Are it ever going to come off? Bash you with a hammer and see what happens, I could I?
okay. Uh, so I am I'm literally just dripping with sweat. We've had to replace all these pieces. I've just done a quick test and that has worked really well. But we have one, two, three, four, five. We have five. And as much as I really like the uh, belt sander to do this, the belt sander is really much more towards uh, finishing these rather than getting them there. So I'm going to have to do these by hand. So uh, I'm going to call it for today. And I'm going to do these by hand.